Christianity is the religion of peace. Christianity is the true religion of peace. Turn the other cheek. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. These are messages that come from Christianity. What can you do in an age of deceit and lies and terror? You can go to church again. However unneeding you think you really are, you know in your heart that there's something missing in you. You know that you crave something greater. Because the human being is not a dog. We are unique creatures. And we need something different than the bear, the dog, the snake, and the eagle. What is that thing that we need? It's the thing called God. promulgated the idea and promoted the idea that we only need food and fornication and so when people are empty that's what they seek and when they're really empty what happens they become drug addicts they start with marijuana and they end up with heroin crack you name it as God has been driven out of America drugs have entered America what does an empty soul look to do an empty soul looks to fill itself just as an empty vessel needs to be filled with a liquid to be complete. An empty human being needs to fill itself to be complete. And how does it fill itself? I know, again, many of you will laugh because you're cynical. It's through those things I'm talking about, inspiration. Do you think a musician can play one day without inspiration from somewhere? The greatest artists in the history of the world were not drug addicts. They were usually God addicts. Look at the greatest art in history. You'll find most of them were super religious people who literally saw God in their living room. And they took the power of God and that was transmitted through the paintbrush or through that piece of marble. How could a man like Rodin take a piece of inert stone and inside that stone see the essence of a human form and sculpt from that block of inert stone of marble? The portrait of a human being that looks so real. A hundred years later, I go and look at them in the museum. And literally inside that carved eye, I can see the person. How is that possible? How? It's a different show than I've ever done in my 21 years. Because each day to me, I must tell you, I see as my last day, and my last day on earth. Despite the snake, we still have to go on with our life. William. Line 8, WBOB in Jacksonville, Florida. Welcome to the program. What's on your mind tonight, William? Thank you, Dr. Savage, for being a light in this world of murkiness. I'm a longtime listener. I like this new trend. I like the inspirational Dr. Savage. And I just think we need, as you say, more positiveness. And you are such a very endowed with God-given talents. And if there's anybody that can turn it around, it's you, you have for me, and I just want to thank you for the inspiration. Out of the muck, the lotus grows, is written in the Buddhist writings. Out of the muck, the lotus grows. And what that means to me, and it's something I learned 30 years ago, is that when we are in the deepest mud of our lives, or the deepest mud of America's history, we're close to the Civil War times in terms of politics, in terms of social upheaval, in terms of dissension between the races and between uh, the people. Uh, this man has done such damage to the society. Out of the muck, the lotus grows. What that means is, William, out of this horrible situation, we can create a flower of a new America. Thank you, Dr. Savage. And I, I look to you for guidance in this aspect of just dealing with the daily aspects of... Well, that's right. That Don't give up hope is what I'm saying. Because many people are on the verge of not only giving up, they don't know what to do. Many of them are uh, personally at the end of their ropes. They don't know what to do because of what this man is getting away with. You know, you say, well, what's he actually done? Well, let's put aside the dynamics of a $1.8 trillion budget, which is going to bust the economy in ways you can never imagine. This corrupt, evil Congress just voted to fund nearly 300,000 visas for Muslim migrants in only one year. And that's Nancy Pelosi and Paul Ryan's doing. Most Republicans went along with this. In addition to criminals in sanctuary cities being protected, in addition to his continued executive amnesty for illegal alien dreamers, 
in addition to paying for the resettlement of illegal aliens inside the United States. They supported money for 300,000 visas for Muslim migrants in one year when that jerk, Jay Johnson himself, the head of DHS, the other day admitted before Congress he cannot vet all of these people. He said, no, we can't do it. So they're telling us to get ready for more attacks. I understand why people are angry and depressed, because we have no representation. We're way beyond the Tea Party, my friend. We're way past the Tea Party. We don't need Boston Harbor. It's the Savage Nation. I'll be here the minute I return. Be here or be nowhere. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. All right, so here it is, the Michael Savage Motivational. Uh, is now all over YouTube. Another listener put it up. I'm going to post it directly on my Facebook, I think. It's right now on michaelsavage.com. An emailer writes, Leslie Cuss says, Michael, I'm so glad you're not taking two weeks off like most of the other talkers. I go through savage withdrawal enough on the weekends. If you took two weeks off, I would go crazy. It's bad enough I don't get you live, so I can't call in. I love your show, and your voice and message is so important to me. You're extra smart and satirical, and I enjoy each and every show. See, women understand satire. Men don't. Men don't get satire. I, I'll be honest with you. Satire is something most men don't get. Women like satire because women are satirical. They have to be in order to deal with men. But <laughs> that's a joke for women. Women have learned the art of <laughs> sarcasm really more than satire. Unless they really get nasty, then they use <laughs> satire. Sorry. No, the average woman can be sarcastic just on a regular. That's on the natch. It's like shooting from the hip every time is a sarcastic remark. But that's easy to do. But satire is another story. Sarcasm is easy, by the way. Anyone could do it. I mean, even uh, Rachel Madcow does that. You know, that, that sophomoric sarcasm. You know, that everyone who's not her is bad. In the moon. But satire is hard to do. What do you want to talk about in this hour? I'll tell you what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the snake a little bit more. I'm not through with the snake yet. So the snake gave a speech this morning where he's pleased as pie with getting his way. He worked with Pelosi behind the scenes with the cowards, the sellouts in the other party. Other party. Excuse me, the other branch of the Democrat Party. The weaker branch of the Democrat Party called the Republicans worked with him to pass this blowout of a budget bring in 300,000 new Muslims in one year. And yet, he's now calling the carpet with a little... He gives one little speech today, and one of the little men in the, in the news media asks him some questions, which is, how did you let those two terrorists in San Bernardino get away with it when they were all over social media boasting that they were jihadis and were going to do it? So the snake spoke in falsetto, as you'll hear in clip 21. Listen. The issue of reviewing social media for those who are obtaining visas, I think may have gotten garbled a little bit. Garbled? Because there, there may be a... It, it's important to distinguish between... What a con man. ...that are public, social media on a Facebook page. Oh, uh, yeah, right, right, right. Versus right. private communications. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah Through yeah, various yeah, yeah. social media or apps. Yeah, right, right. And right. our... Uh, law enforcement and intelligence yeah, professionals. Right. All right, are you get the picture. He doesn't. He didn't want to monitor the Muslims because it would have violated their uh, their privacy rights. But he's monitoring any conservative. Remember, a Tea Party. You've been monitored from the day you came out of, out of grade school. That's all. They didn't, they, the NSA has been monitoring you if you're a member of a Tea Party. If you're a member of any group that opposes communism, Marxism, socialism, anarchism, you've been monitored, my friend. That's all, but not not if you're a Muslim plotting a, a bombing mission. No way. So now he says he's going to engage with the high tech companies, who with with Pimple Face himself. Listen, to, he's going to he's going to he's going to partner with Pimple Face now in clip twenty two. Listen to twenty two. Things we'll be doing is in, engaging with the high tech community to find out how we can, in an appropriate way. Appropriate, uh, yeah. Do a better job. If right. Whenever you hear the, uh, you know, okay, stop it, stop it. The lies just come, come at us. It's like nausea. It's like vomit coming at us. Verbal diarrhea comes out of the. I can't take it anymore. How we can, in an appropriate way, do a better job? That's like telling the Air Force, don't drop your bombs. It's inappropriate to kill uh, ISIS. It's not appropriate to kill them. 
All right, well, we're in for another one. We're like masochists to take this anymore. It's like a nation of masochists. We're like a bunch of beaten beaten spouses is what we've become under this maniac. Beaten spouses waiting for him to hit us again. We have no defense. What, what defense do we have against this maniac and his desire to, to harm the country and harm us? I hate to go back to that. Who would bring in 300,000 Muslims in a time of terror? Tell me what sense that makes. I want one progressive liberal, a sane one now, not an insane one, a sane one to tell me why you'd bring in 300,000 Muslims on green cars in 2016 in, in the next year. Why would he do that? I want an answer. I want a rational answer. No answer, no calls. Not one caller at 855-407-282. Why in a time of terror? Would you bring in 300,000 Muslims in particular? Yes, we will focus on Muslims again. You can say, well, not all Muslim terrorists. We heard the whole thing. We've done the catechism on it. But amongst the 300,000, if it's only, what, 1%? What's that number? 3,000? Okay, so let's say it's not 1% who will be terrorists. Let's say it's 0.1%. So that means 300 of them will be terrorists. Are you telling me that we can risk 300 San Bernardinos? Next year, because of this snake, why are they not stopping him? Why would the Republicans go along with that? And here's the bigger question. Why would a psycho like Nancy Pelosi, who is as evil as they come with regard to greed, she is the greediest woman in the history of the world. There's no amount of power or money that will ever satisfy this, this lunatic. Why would a Catholic grandmother with American grandchildren who are Christians invite 300,000 Muslims into this nation in the year 2016. Why? I'm asking a simple question. Why? Tell me why she would do that. What's in it for Nancy Pelosi? Why would Dianne Feinstein want 300,000 Muslims here, that phony liar, that lying thing on the Senate Intelligence Committee, that useless double agent? Don't get me started in the last hour of my show. I meant to go out quietly, but I'll get worked up. You can't talk to me about these topics. I don't talk to too many people at all. I'm, I've become a, a total hermit. I've withdrawn completely into my work and myself. I talk to my dog. That's about it. I can't talk about the snake anymore. I can't talk about the liars and the thieves in high places. I explode. If I go on a little bicycle ride in my neighborhood and I see a neighbor who I talk to, within two minutes, if they touch a button on me with politics, I explode and get back on my bike and then pedal away. I cannot take it. It's coming out of me like a volcanic eruption because I have never seen such deceit and criminality and suicidal behavior. Oh, I'm used to deceit and criminality. I live in San Francisco. That's, that's the mother's milk of San Francisco politics. Clean suits, nice ties. The dirtiest people in the history of the world run this city. Evil. Pure evil. If you did a movie on villainy, you'd have to start in San Francisco. What they did here to the archbishop here in this city. They told the Christian he wasn't a Christian because he stood up for Christian values. The city fathers, can you believe it? All the real estate thieves. All the real estate thieves who rob and steal from the public. Rip each other off and steal and rezone everything to throw people out of houses. These creeps. The city fathers of San Francisco, they attacked the one Catholic archbishop who stood up for Christian values. They wanted to ride him out on a rail. They wanted to tar and feather him because he stood for traditional Catholic values. That's the filthy, dirty city that I have to live in. The sewer. A sewer would be cleaner than the city. Oh, they all wear Brioni suits, though. You should see how nice they look at cocktail parties at the museum. Cleaner than the driven snow. That's because we don't have a U.S. attorney like Pratt Bahara. We have no U.S. attorney here at all. So it's one cozy little party. Cozy little party. May as well be a nation unto itself. But the economy's booming. That's the important thing. Doesn't matter that Kate Steinle gets shot dead in front of her father on the, on the wharf near the ferry terminal. That doesn't matter. In fact, that liar, that creepy lawyer for that illegal alien from Mexico who killed her has the nerve to say it was an accidental shooting. Can you believe this? He said it's been proven it's an accidental shooting. Proven by another pervert that they found in the, in the legal profession. Proven by who? Accidental shooting. The Mexican said he was shooting at sea lions. That unto itself is a felony, by the way, that could put him away for five years. Shooting at sea lions, okay? Now, if you took a gun... And you went down to Fisherman's Wharf and shot at sea lions. How many years would the park rangers put you away for? Five to ten? Five to seven? 
Now, on top of it, he kills a woman. So you get him on two charges if you're a, a, a true prosecutor. Shooting at C-11, 